Hello, beach friends. We are going to continue our walk from last week when I got up super duper early, made my way over to Kais Island before anybody else could get there, including any of the other shell tours. And we walked around picking up awesome seashells. We got to see this cool critter and we're gonna do the same thing. We are gonna continue our walk, say hi to whatever critters we happen to see, and of course, examine whatever treasures we may find. So if you're ready to see what's out there for us today, let's go to the beach. back to Kais Island, my home away from home. If I had any other place to live, I think it probably would be Kais Island. It's pretty epic for looking for these seashells. Now that moon snail is a pretty good size. Am I going to keep it? Yeah, it's big enough. It's a little bit pitted. It's not perfect, but just that size. Oh, now we have some sand dollars. Now, yeah, that sand dollar has expired. I know, and I hate almost picking up these dark ones because it just creates that whole debate. Are they alive? Are they dead? I have picked up enough sand dollars to know they are expired. And I'm going to show you another example of that just in a little bit. So I'm here. What's here? Looking for seashells? Anything interesting? Oh, yes, I think I would consider that alphabet cone interesting. Very desirable alphabet cone. It is a little beat up. I don't care for this one. This one's going to pass the muster. I am going to keep that. It's going to clean up okay. At least I think it is. It's one way to find out. Look at that cute little Florida fighting conch. Oh, it's so cute. Beautiful tiny little seashell. Oh, and a cone. All right, so this is a Florida cone. That's a pretty good size looking Florida cone too, if I have to say. They get about two inches maximum. So that's getting up there, a Florida cone. I cannot resist these colorful moon snails. I love comparing, looking at all the different patterns of them. And of course it sounds, or it looks like anyway, that this those purple, these colorful shells were calling to me. So we got a colorful moon snail and some colorful scallops. Oh man, all right. So there's, you know, a little bit of mud on there, but that is like half of a rose murex. Total bummer. Well, I mean, it's not a bummer that I found it. It's a bummer it's broken, but I'm gonna keep it anyway, because it is one of those quote unquote bucket list shells. What a little nutmeg. Beautiful beaded little shell. What else is here? Oh, a top shell or top snail. I've only found those live once, those top snails, one time. All right, so here's a couple more sand dollars, or at least well, one more sand dollar. Again, this is also on the dark side, but it has expired. The sand dollar is not alive anymore. What about that one? All right, now that one, it's still moist and in my mind, it's questionable. The color doesn't look right. It probably has expired. But if I'm not sure, I'm leaving it at the beach. So anytime there's anything in question, please leave it. The dead stuff, by all means, take that home. So I've already had a couple hours here. At this point, it is 8.56 in the morning, and I've been here since before 7. So I've had a couple of hours, and I was really lucky because I got here before any of the other shell tours or anybody else came. So I've kind of had first crack at Kais Island and I am making the very most of it. It's absolutely beautiful and having a great time. Okay, there is another Florida cone. That one's kind of neat because it's got those little dashes. I don't always find those with those like dash coloration in it. All right, now what do I see? There's all sorts of stuff. There it is. 
an alphabet cone. Now that one's a little more orange. I've been finding really more of those chocolate colored ones. Oh, it's awesome. Starts out with little dashes and it kind of gets into longer markings that are supposed to look like alphabet letters. What else is here? Oh, it looks like I should probably grab this glowing lightning whelk. Yeah, just thwack some of those smaller shells in there. Oh, and it looked like it needed to repair itself at some point. Oh, the stories that lightning whelk could tell. All right, little beat up nutmeg. Although I do like that peekaboo. You can kind of see what's going on, on the inside of the shell. What else do I spy? All sorts of stuff. Spiny jewel box. Give it just a little. If it resists, then I know it's alive. So I'm going to put that. I'll grab that and give it a little ride to the water. Okay, banded tool. There's so much. Don't tell me the ones I missed. I. <laughs> what do we get here? Okay, this is an angel wing with all sorts of stuff on it, but um, it's worth it. Totally worth cleaning that shell. I'm gonna hold on to that. And that pen shell. So these are always here. I don't collect them. But those are here, the pen shells, the apple murex I do collect, and that is a really nice one. Great texture. And another spiny jewel box. Oh, nice spikes on that one, probably alive. Yet another apple murex just kind of sitting there waiting for someone to grab it. I don't want to wait you wait anymore, fella. No problem. Enjoying. All right, that's broken. I'll leave that. What about that one? Yeah. Yeah, that's broken too. It's just, it's, oh, it's overwhelming. So many, like, do I go left, right, here? All right, we'll grab this banded tulip. Nice size banded tulip too. Oh, it's so fun. Got some purple there. Oh, yeah. Eh, a little bit too much mud. I'll just leave that. No lack of piles to look through. All right, got a nice size lightning whelk. Uh-oh. Oh, buddy. All right, that is alive. The critter is in there, so that needs to go in the water there you go friend tides coming in it'll take care of you no problem okay what else do we got here if you do go on a tour to case you're gonna want to bring your shoes and good ones oh my gosh that's beautiful beautiful colorful moon snail or also known as a gaudy nautica Oh my gosh, just beautiful. So yeah, when you're kind of traipsing around Kais Island, you are definitely going to want to have a good set of shoes. Don't go for the flip-flops. Go for something a little sturdier than that. Wow. Look at just behind that. The little sand dollar. Now that clearly is collectible. It has expired. It's beautiful. It's just perfect little thing. How did that survive? How did that stay intact it got washed around i don't know okay one one more colorful moon snail before i put that sand dollar in my other extra little container so when i that's one of my many shell bags i will show you my new shell bag in a future episode but that is old faithful or old reliable i've had that literally since i started shelling and i keep a little hard container the hard container changes from time to time this happens to be the one i have in there now and so i'll keep my delicates in there and i'm going to be lazy and just pop all of them yep fine they can all go in what i really wanted was just the small sand dollar but everything is going to be protected in that little case oh what what do we have here all right better grab that little moon snail and that alphabet cone. Mm. All right, that one is a little bit. Yeah, even if once I clean that up, that's probably going to be a little bit beat, too beat up for me. So, although, all right, we'll hold on to that. 
All right, so we'll hold on to the Florida cone. Oh, what about you? Oh, probably alive. Chuck for resistance. Yep, you gotta go back in the water. So let us drop off. We're doing a, um, a deposit and a withdrawal. So I do the C bank. I will deposit some critters in there and then make a withdrawal of anything else that looks kind of pretty, like that Apple Murex. Kind of pretty. That is going in my shell bag. Look at that. So to recap, in case you missed the first part of this video, there have been several days of winds, and then this is kind of a morning after that. So there's just tons of great specimens like that. Pear whelk, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful color, great condition. And then the little banded tulip on the bottom. So yeah, oh man, just the perfect day. Another spiny jewel box, but that one's collectible. Beautiful purple on the inside. And I can see that hinge is still a little bit flexible. Once that dries out, that's it. So you kind of have to decide if you want it flat, you want it closed, because once it dries, that's it. Wow, that was a big, beautiful lightning whelk. All right, you are also beautiful, but you got a little bit, a little bit of stuff. I can't believe you, what about you? Oh, you're beautiful. So this kind of reminds me, and so they say that the darker lightning whelks are the males and then the lighter ones are the females. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Don't know. That's what I've heard. Either way, a couple of beautiful lightning whelks. Okay, another deposit. Just leave that shell. Oh, and sometimes just really... It's, I, when I say that is plain, I think it's just gorgeous. It's only white. There's no nothing else going on, but almost in its simplicity, it's just beautiful. A couple of really beautiful calico scallops. Oh, beautiful pear whelk. Hi. Oh, you are so pretty. Yep. Beautiful pear whelk. Okay, I see a couple things. Let's see what's a ta all right nothing oh well oh well could have been a big shell then I knew it was just a piece but I still like checking it out it's okay you know I'm probably not going to keep it it's not calling to me the way some of these other shells do yep that pear whelk was definitely saying pick me pick me not to worry pear whelk. you and a bunch of your friends are already in my shell bag oh yes you too pear whelk. I heard you Oh, it's so beautiful. Now it's got a little bit of like beach stuff in there. That's okay. That beach stuff I'm going to tackle. Hi, Lightning Whelk. And that is so white. Just very different. So there's a million, when I pick up a shell, there's like a million things kind of going on in my, in my head. What is it? What condition is it? Am I going to keep it? Am I going to leave it? Oh, a couple of really beautiful whelks. Two pair whelks. A Lightning Whelk. Uh-oh. Something very orange caught my eye. So this Florida fighting conch, holy cow, look at that color. However, that one knob is a little bit broken. So I have some self-control, not a lot. This one's kind of perfect. So that one I'm probably gonna have to keep. Yeah, it's beautiful, shiny, a little bit yellow. So um, I leave some <laughs> shells, but I do like them. So I kind of collect a lot. I do have to admit, like this other really pretty spiny jewel box. Oh, and it's got like just the right amount of spikes on it. Now this I thought was interesting. Obviously it's a horse conch and there's a shell called the carrier shell. And a lot of these other marine animals can produce something called marine glue. So they kind of glue themselves to things. And I just thought this was kind of interesting. So it does look like that these shells have kind of glued themselves to this horse conch. And in its own way, I'm kind of finding that kind of beautiful just like this lightning whelk and just like this island so i'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy some beautiful beach time
beautiful it's a tiny little chip in the aperture that is okay beautiful florida cone oh it's very yellow oh that's a horse conch and it's a little bit pitted but when you hold it just like that it's perfect so i'm going to go ahead and hold on to that too horse conch okay Oh man, beautiful size lightning whelk. This one, another beautiful size lightning whelk. And so what what should I should I slow down and appreciate them or I saw another shadow go by or do I kind of scurry up the beach and grab what I can? I love it when I have the beach to myself. It's not always possible. Other shell tours do show up. Wow. But look, I got to do what I got to do. I gotta rush around and find a couple of beautiful lightning whelks. Well, so be it. Oh, you I'm gonna slow down for Mr. or Mrs. Fighting Conk. Hello! Alright, so you were hanging out, probably waiting for the tide to come in. I'm gonna give you a little bit of help. You are beautiful and cute. Oh, but I'm not gonna make you wait. There you go. There you go, friend. So the tide has really kind of come in at this point. Does it really matter on Kais? Eh, yeah. I mean, if I could, I would like to come at low tide. If it's not low tide, I'm still, you're still going to find me here if I can hitch a ride. Another beautiful lightning whelk. A Florida fighting conch with a little bit of stripes. And oh, it's just so pretty. Yep. Yeah, I'll probably hold on to a couple more. A couple more seashells. Oh, high banded tulip. Oh, you're beautiful. Nice size. Gorgeous. Yeah, so the, yes, the, these are just sitting here on the beaches down here in Southwest Florida. So this color from Wounds Now, I'm kind of like examining because of the pattern on it. There is another type of moon snail that it's a color from Moon Snail. It just doesn't have the right color on it. So that's what I was kind of admiring. Is this one? No, that one's kind of quote unquote normal. So it, there's some of them that kind of don't have the stripies. It's the right shape, but totally wrong color. And this one almost looks like it's starting to bend that way. Oh, see the one in the back? That is a color from Moon Snail. Totally wrong color. Fascinating, right? And then obviously the one in the front is a quote unquote normal Moon Snail. You can see them next to each other. Really, really interesting, the difference in some of these shells. And this tinted cantharis, it finally get it. That finally looks a little bit like a ribbed cantharis to me, finally. Beautiful little tinted cantharis. Fighting conk. A little bit, oh, too much beach stuff, but what about you? Do you have an acceptable amount of beach stuff? Yes, you are perfect in every way. Beautiful, colorful moon snail. Oh, well, we haven't found one of these in five seconds. Oh, man, the aperture is a little broken. That is okay. Yep, that's fine. We're going to hold on to that gorgeous alphabet cone it will be gorgeous we'll see at the end i show you i clean them all up oh yeah practically perfect it's a little more on the orange side gorgeous yep absolutely beautiful and you know what too on the on the what is that weird like lacy pattern thing it's almost like a different periostracum that i find it's it's white it's always on the cones and it's like another layer. It's not, so the brown is the periostracum. And then there's another like webbed layer. I think we see it again on another shell. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. I know that dark stuff is the periostracum. Just kind of, oh, that, that is beautiful alphabet com. What about this? I know guys, can you believe it? Now see what I just did there? I kind of pushed the shell down. I never ever push up against the aperture of the shells because you can actually break them. So I don't ever, ever like push shells up against that lip of the shell. That is a true tulip that is truly adorable and orange and beautiful. Awesome. Next up, oh, it's a lace murex. Isn't it beautiful? It's all lacy and, and a fighting conch. The only thing I would change about these shells is I would make them a little lighter. They are sturdy 
and heavy and beautiful and wonderful. Look at the way it looks smudged almost, the pattern on that one. All right, look at the pattern on this one. How stripey. Ooh, that's very interesting, stripey. It's almost like smudged. What about you? Or you. Okay, you're a little green. You need some bleach in the middle there. Oh, they're just so beautiful. Beautiful, colorful moon snails. All right, Apple Murex 1 and Apple Murex 2. All right, number two's been here a little too long. Number one, on the other hand, is practically perfect. So we're going to just hold on to the one. Banded tulip, calico scallop. Oh, that's pretty. So is that. Yeah. They're really smooth, too. The banded tulips, there is a... Just a very smooth textured shell. So is the olives can be really smooth too, that longer one. Another gaudy. All right, let's take a look at the color. How stripey is this one? Oh my gosh, it's so stripey. Even the bands are stripey. Oh, that is neat. Another really neat colorful moon snail. And our state shell, the Florida horse conch with just the right amount of periostracum. Like that's just perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful little horse conch. <gasps> Look at the stripes on this one. So that is a juvenile fighting conch. Oh, it's zigzaggy, but they, they're in lines. Oh, that is neat. Yeah. Oh, you are super lacy, lace murex. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Absol and, and lace murex, for whatever reason, on kais, it's almost common. Nowhere else do I find the sheer quantity of lace murexes that I do on Kais Island. Now, that is a corrugated jewel box. It's a weird shell. It looks like it's melting. And it is alive. So you got the top and the bottom. I know it just looks like a red mess. It's just a little bit lumpy, but that is called a corrugated jewel box. And since it's alive, I'm not going to be able to keep that. But really cool. Never found one with its little parts. So that's the, I guess the bottom and the top, I don't know. Neat, corrugated jewel box. Another gaudy, now this one's interesting because it's kind of lacking some of the striping. Oh, just really, really cool. And, oh, that one's even lacking, more lacking, <laughs> lacking er. All right, but it looks like it's got some friends hanging on that. I'm gonna leave that shell, the first one. This one, yeah, that nutmeg is awesome. And yep, I'm gonna add that to the shell bag. Oh my gosh, that's even prettier than the first one. It's a little, all right, well, it's not a little broken. It's, it's, it's broken and repaired and perfect in every way. Awesome. All right, we got oh my gosh who cares about the other ones let's just talk about that little alphabet cone it's so cute oh yeah yep thrilled oh i see an r maybe what else a v oh beautiful all right so this is a hermit crab that's playing with a piece of grass and i just thought it was funny so it's in some sort of drill and i saw movement and that's really what i was drawn to and it turns out that this little hermit crab has a little piece of grass it was playing around with so there you go friend we just wanted to say hi we'll leave you and your grass alone oh wow that's pretty beautiful so that is also a calico scallop absolutely gorgeous just like my day we're having a pretty good morning here on Kais weather is perfect as you know the tide is really coming in at this point but that's okay because it looks like the cones are still up in the dry spots so gorgeous alphabet cone. I'm a little bummed that that's going to need acid to get it clean, but overall just a really great shaped alphabet cone. And a nutmeg. Oh, it's almost, it's black splotches on there. Beautiful. I, rem I remember seeing somebody had found one on Instagram. It was like this really, really dark nutmeg and I was super jelly. I'm not gonna lie. I really wanted a really really dark nutmeg so I'm pretty happy I'm able to add that to my collection. Under these circumstances pinch me. Pinch me. This is just so fun. A couple more beautiful scallops. Oh I'm gonna toss them around. Kind of a 
pink one, this white and lavender one. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Oh, and if there's gonna be a tiny itty bitty little apple mirror, you might as well grab that too. Another horse conk. Once again, perfect amount of periostracum. Beautiful, just as is. Couple more great looking scallops. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that beautiful dark nutmeg. Yep, awesome. I was literally wanting to add one of those to my collection. <gasps> no way, another itty bitty. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, a couple of nutmegs and an itty bitty alphabet cone. Awesome. All right, I'm getting, I'm overwhelmed. I'm like, where, where do I start? All right, we'll start with the big moon snail. Oh, it's a heartbreaker. I'm keeping it. It's it's a Paul Newman moon snail. It is the aperture is a little broken. I'm keeping it anyway. Beautiful apple murex. Nice size. Awesome. So yep, nice moon snail and an apple murex. Oh, can't forget this color from moon snail. I clearly have not found enough today. As is, look at how shiny. So that's just natural. It's got a real natural, super shiny finish on it. Oh, you are spiky and awesome and probably alive. So yeah, one for the shell bag and one for the water's edge. Now, from a distance standpoint, you can walk the entire island of Kais. It's just gonna take a couple of hours. The couple of hours I used, I was a little too slow. I was kind of hanging around the north end of the island. I don't really think I got all that far, but I didn't really need to. There was so much stuff. So I think that's just kind of the way it goes with Kais. If you're finding stuff, you're probably gonna slow down and be in that area where you started. That is a really cool looking moon snail. It's almost got like a natural, like crystallized image to it or it just look really really neat surface that beautiful fighting conch so yeah i mean i didn't walk all that far but i didn't need to all the shells were kind of hanging out right there awesome and i hate to leave shells in hopes that there'll be better ones so if there's a couple of shells well that's where you're gonna find me to yep yeah, making sure there's oh i think there's somebody home there so we're gonna leave that Little fighting conch. And painted egg cockle. And it's hinged, no less. Go figure. Now that, this is not where I thought I would have found one of those. Yep. So that is a painted egg cockle. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh. It's like perfect. <gasps> oh man, that's awesome. So another amazing alphabet cone really cool and that's more in the chocolate sometimes they're like orangey that one's more that darker color wow and another but this one you'll notice there's a little bit of wet gooeyness inside the shell that wet gooeyness is the animal so this one i'm putting back in the water that is not a keeper and then one last look one last pinch, one last thank you to the universe for putting me here and allowing me to do this and share it with you. And then <laughs> one last color for moon snail because apparently 400 is just not enough. So we're gonna wrap it up with that last moon snail. Now, if you wanted to do this, reach out to Ali at SWF Shell Guide or Carlos at Nautical Life Shelling Tours, and you could possibly go out and do something like this. I'm gonna forewarn you, these shelling conditions were optimal. Do not expect to find over 40 alphabet cones like I did, because it's, it's this, it was almost like post storm shelling post like hurricane shelling so with those cones the first thing i did is i rinsed them off for a little while and then they soaked in bleach and what the bleach does it really just takes off any of the barnacles and then it also takes off that periostracum so the florida cones cleaned up so well a lot of times they're dented and kind of imperfect and grit and grime will kind of get into those little imperfections and so once you bleach them it just kind of takes off all that grime and they look just beautiful so it kind of look like 
beautiful little cones. And these are also beautiful little cones. That pile, there's imperfections. There's a crack in the aperture. They're broken somehow. That's missing a chunk. But I still, I'm just going to keep them separated. This one's kind of borderline. So I put like it kind of in between the two packs of shells. And then these are all the good ones, the good alphabet cones. We have some of the dark ones, the orangey ones. Um, my favorites are those two little ones. They are so cute. But man, some of them, and it, again, some of the shells will have that natural shine. So all I did, I was put that in bleach. You just soak it in bleach and it literally comes out almost like you buffed it, but it's, it's natural. So that's how the alphabet cones cleaned up just a little bit of bleach some of them i probably dipped in acid but oh man it was just fun and then they couldn't fit on the board with everything else this is all the other shells so in that one trip i also got all those cones those um lettered olives all of these lightning well so many they're beautiful looks like i got a couple of the operculums some of those angel wings some nutmegs i get to add a, that really dark one to my collection we have some spiny jewel box the that is a chalky loose scene a giant atlantic cockle some of those calico clams the banded tulips some true tulips which is kind of cool and look at the difference so many less true tulips than the banded tulips all of those beautiful calico scallops a couple of Florida horse conch, some fighting conchs as well. I did grab a couple. What else we got? Oh, some pear whelks, lace murex. So there's some, oh, I guess I'm not ready for, oh, the apple murex, right? Fine, we'll talk about those. Okay, and then some of the cones. So those are the cones before they cleaned up. Kind of grimy, right? I soaked them in bleach, so you got to see them twice. And then we have the lace murex and then the top snails and that half of a rose murex and the horse conchs. Oh, and the Atlantic wing oyster, which is really cool. All those gaudies super fun just all of it really today was one of those days where it just all enthralled me super duper fun thank you for coming and thank you patreons welcome new patreons thank you so very much for choosing to support me i will never be able to actually verbally express how much it means to me so please know that i am super duper grateful thank you next week we are going to south Marco Island and there's going to be a couple of seashells there so I hope you have yourself a really great week and I will see you again next Sunday.